so this is what today's video is going to be about and let me just tell you a story about how this came to be because I don't think this has ever happened in the history of Tokyo Disney as far as I know it to be. On December the 1st, Tokyo Disney Resort released the first ever Happy Tote Bag. And this is supposed to be quite similar to that of like the mystery bags or the lucky bags that tend to come out during this time of year, the end of the year, otherwise known as Fukubukuro in Japanese. But because of the timing that Tokyo Disney released it as in the beginning of December as opposed to like late December or the beginning of January, which is usually when the stores would release, those uh, lucky mystery bags. It wasn't called a lucky bag, instead it was called the happy tote bag. And what's more, it was app exclusive, as in you could only get the happy tote bag through purchasing it via the Tokyo Disney Resort app. This was an app exclusive, you wouldn't be able to get this anywhere in stores. And this happy tote was advertised to come with 12 different items, including the app exclusive tote bag, so that is one of the 12 that you would get, as well as a Mickey shape bubble hand soap dispenser, which is not a new item to the parks. And actually, I don't believe any of the items that are within this bag are new because if it's following a trend of mystery bags or fukubukuros or lucky bags that Japan tends to um, dole out at this time of year, I believe the items that we're going to find in this bag are those that have been on the shelves for quite a while or haven't really sold and they just want to make room for more inventory or new stock or new merch. What I especially found to be intriguing is this one statement that was listed in the description of this happy tote bag saying that the items are going to be the same or you're going to be finding the same items pretty much across all the bags. I don't think I've ever come across a mystery bag that is the same in every single way. It's usually the case that you would get one, two, or a couple of items that they're basically the guaranteed items you would get for purchasing the lucky bag and it's usually what draws the customer to purchase such a bag. But the fact that all lucky bags will basically carry the same items it's kind of difficult for me to wrap my head around, which is probably why they don't call this a mystery bag or a lucky bag because they just called it the Disney Happy Tote. I've already kind of spoiled it for myself and saw a picture of all the contents that someone else opened up. And so I'm really curious as to see whether or not we will really find the same things in this unboxing. So another interesting thing I noticed is that they also included this one statement on their description page for this Happy Tote bag saying that in order to preserve or to protect the items, they're going to separate that from the bag. So essentially they pulled out everything out of the bag and then the bag is laid out separately. And what I'm hoping that means is that the bag will be laid out right on top, at the very top, so that it hides or covers all of the items underneath. And in that way, we'll still be able to be surprised. And I'll be pulling out each item one by one and I'll be showing you the retail price that they go for here on the screen. We'll total it all up at the very end and see if it was worth the 9,000 that I paid for plus shipping, which was 1,000 yen. And so it came out to 10,000 yen in total for this um, Disney Happy Tote delivery. Here we go. And oh my, there's like double boxing in this. So I'm going to have to cut this old box open one more time because there's literally like a box within a box. I totally was not expecting that. Here's the box that was just inside that box. Okay, take two. The first item that I'm pulling out is... Yep. Awesome, it's a tote bag, which means that everything else is right underneath this. You can't get it at either park. You can't get it at Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea. It's only through the Tokyo Disney Resort app by purchasing this Disney Happy Tote. This is definitely in line with the whole idea of the lucky bags or the mystery bags that coincide with the end of the year or the new year because it has here that special tag that says in kanji or Chinese characters, the year of the tiger. And that is one of the Chinese zodiac animals, 2022 for the new year. Yep, so definitely in line with that trend. On one side here, printed in beautiful gold lettering. You have Tokyo Disneyland, which is the usual lettering for any Tokyo Disneyland branded merchandise. And in the corner right here, you have a lovely little fabric tag of Mickey. And on the other side, you have 
representing the other park, Tokyo Disney Sea. And this is also the same kind of lettering that you can find across Tokyo Disney Sea branded items. It is seriously your regular standard average canvas tote bag. There's nothing really special inside or outside besides the lettering nor is there at the bottom you have two straps going on here and you have an one inner pocket and one outer pocket on the tokyo disneyland side so we'll just set that aside and the other item that i can feel that i'm going to pull out is the other guaranteed item that you can get from this disney happy tote is the mickey shaped foam hand soap dispenser and this one i already got a few years back and i was just thinking where i could put this the other day i have a soap dispenser in the kitchen that could be disneyfied so there we go you specifically had to put in one of those foam hand soap refills you don't want to put the liquid ones otherwise obviously you won't be able to get that foam um, mickey shape i just absolutely love the design on this bottle there's no particular date attached to it and i much more prefer like those kinds of generic designs especially when it comes to practical items you know what i mean there's a lot of paper here so it's kind of hard to dig through it and actually get an item oh a towel okay this was one of the retro designs or vintage designs that came out quite a while back when the retro uh trend was kicking in at the parks and at the disney store i was actually thinking about getting the longer version of this which is a face towel and it's totally fine with me that i got the hand towel version which is more of a square it measures 35 by 35 and this represents both parks again i love anything that represents the parks especially when both of them are included because you can see tokyo disney sea here represented by the mount prometheus and this one is obviously disneyland represented by cinderella's castle you have the whole gang here in fab retro design like classic disney art style retro is still very much in at the parks and at the Disney store. I'm feeling a sort of stationary vibe here. Yep, it is some plastic file folders or plastic file organizers. This is the set that came out to celebrate the new Fantasyland expansion. So we're going to see a whole bunch of designs that feature the new areas in the new Fantasyland. And first up we have here is the Forest Theater which I am super excited to see because I always love me a good show, especially one that is musically based. I mean, what show isn't musically based really in Disneyland or Disney Sea? So that's one. Here we have the Beauty and the Beast area being represented. I am also very excited to go to this because it's my favorite movie. Next up, we have Baymax. He's largely um, an attraction as opposed to an area. It's, this area is probably a little smaller compared to the rest, but again, one of the new areas of Fantasyland. And finally, we have Mini Style Studio, which is found in Toontown. It's a little bit farther down from the new expansion area. What we have here is an... <gasps> another towel oh my gosh this is so funny to me because i actually have the smaller towel version of this one so this is the face towel this is the longer version and it has pretty much the exact same design or art style featured on it so you have like a very classic old retro vibe going on here again but not as classic as the one we saw previously it's a little bit more modern it's just classic or vintage in the sense of the color palette going on here and i love again how both parks are represented you can see different attractions represented from both parks oh my gosh i love all of the art designs and the concepts being featured from this particular merchandise lineup i'm surprised that this didn't sell out i thought it would the fact that it's in the tote bag or the mystery bag means that they had quite a bunch of these left. There we go. Coming into the end. Don't you just love the border? Look at that. It's all in the details, right? Oh my gosh, look at the hidden Mickeys in different colors. I just love the towels at Tokyo Disney. You can't go wrong with a towel. They're super practical. Their designs are awesome and they last for a really long time they're just such good quality i have so many towels now and i find myself 
not knowing what to do with them. Another towel! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have like three towels now that I pulled in a row. And this is featuring the new expansion or the new Fantasyland at Disneyland. Here we go, new dreams, more fun. We have Beauty and the Beast represented here, Baymax, Mini Style Studio, uh, the Forest Theater by that huge treble clef, and Mickey opening up the map and all of those things jumping out of the map. And the backside is rather simple. I love the border here. It's like a tricolor border. Very pastel-y. My towel drawers are already filled to the brim, so I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe a giveaway? We'll see. Oh, another plastic file organizer. This one is not of the new Fantasyland. This is a lot more generic. And what's really cool about this is you have a whole bunch of different languages represented here. That essentially means everyone's smiling or smiles for everyone. And we have two different colors of the plastic file organizer. We have the white one with a huge hid like Mickey background. And we have a black one or a darker version of that. I don't see that Mickey background there, but I do see the shape of it in the back side. All right, next up. Oh my gosh, um, we have a set of five pens. There was a merchandise lineup that featured both Gabby Gabby and her two little puppet friends. I uh, was terrified when I saw them because I am not a fan of like dolls, of especially very human-like dolls, porcelain dolls, you name it. I had to pull myself together to get through Toy Story 4. And I'm not too surprised that this particular merchandise lineup um, didn't kick off because I personally don't know many people who would collect Gabby Gabby or her two little puppet friends. I myself also don't really collect anything Pixar so uh, this is like uh, not so much of a hit for me but you can see other Toy Story 4 characters being featured here it's not just them and it's a more caricature style compared to them and it is by the brand Energel which I'm not too familiar with most pens in Japan you can trust them to be quite good all right the next item I'm pulling out is like a plush and it is of little green men continuing on with that toy story trend here i would have to say that the little green men are probably my favorite characters in the toy story series and so even though i don't really collect pixar i'm pretty chuffed that i got a plushy set of them there are three of them and they come with a ball and chain here as well as a huge safety pin and do they have the same expressions no they don't oh that's awesome so they each have different expressions here's one here's the middle one and here's the other one that's cool. I think this is one of my first ever Little Green Men merchandise. I personally wouldn't buy this for myself, but if I were to receive it as a gift, as in through the mystery bag, not a bad thing. Oh, a set of postcards from one of the newer attractions, Mini Style Studio. And what's pretty awesome about this set is that it comes with a photo frame that you can set to stand and display the postcards that come with it. So you can see here that this is the photo frame it comes with. It's not plastic, it's cardboard. And here at the back, you have that stand. It's a pull out, you pull it out so that it can make it stand like, like that. It shows you just how it looks. Like when you stand the frame, it looks literally like a photo frame. Oh, that's cool. It opens up like an envelope. You can change out the postcards and choose which one you want to display. So it comes with a set of seven postcards, starting with this one. Definitely very stylish. Minnie Mouse. Mini Style Studio is, by the way, a greeting area where you can take your picture of Minnie and she changes her costumes every season. So a lot of people like to go over there to have new photos of Minnie in her seasonal outfits. And this is also really cool. At the back of the photo frame, if you don't want to display any of the postcards, you can simply put up the frame itself. That can act as a sort of display. Oh, just one more thing I want to point out. Look at that lovely gold foil imprint. And at the back, it's a lot more simple. Next up. Oh, I'm feeling a big box here. Oh my goodness. That's right. The looks are not what it seems. This one is not just a rose. It also has a very practical purpose of being sticky notes. The sticky notes make up the petals of this rose. 
The back shows you an example of what a sticky note looks like and how you would use it is simply by pulling it off one by one. There are so many sticky notes here. Look at the layers of notes there. This is gonna last you a pretty long time. I was seriously contemplating on whether or not to get this because A, I have so many sticky notes already and B, at this price tag, I wasn't so sure if I really needed something like that at that time. But to be getting it as part of a mystery bag, I am totally cool with that. This is one of the more unique items I definitely came across in terms of the Beauty and the Beast merchandise lineup. So pretty happy that this was included in the lucky bag. Next up, I'm feeling a box. It's a Tomika or uh, one of those die cut cars and it features one of the newer attractions, the Baymax attraction called Happy Fair with Baymax. Actually, that's an event name and this one is supposed to uh, cover or represent Baymax and that event. And what's pretty cool about Tomika is that other than being a very well-known brand for die-cut cars, not just at Tokyo Disney but in cars in general, they're very sturdy, they're very well designed. They've been doing a series of Tokyo Disney attraction um, vehicles and they're still releasing that every now and then so if you're interested in those kind of things, check them out. They sell them at almost any major store at Tokyo Disney Resort. Here's what the Tomika looks like. Here's the top of that. The side. I love how detailed it is. Look at that. Look at the stairs and the steps of that. Oh my goodness. There's the front. This is why Tomika reigns supreme in terms of die cut cars pretty awesome. I have a couple of Tomikas myself. Um, most of them are uh, of Donald and of Belle, so I do have a small collection. They are very much worth the price tag. I'm not feeling any more things. I'm just feeling paper. Was that the last one? Oh, I didn't realize. We've already reached 12 items. So let me just add up everything and give you the total of what this lucky bag came to. So let's just quickly go through everything that was in this bag. We had two sets of plastic file organizers, a set of mini style studios postcards, two hand towels, one face towel, one set of five Toy Story 4 pens, one hand soap dispenser, a set of Little Green Men plushies, a Beauty and the Beast Rose sticky notes, a Tamika of the Happy Fair with Baymax, and not included in this is the app exclusive tote bag, which if we're doing a price match of a tote bag of a similar size, and that is also being sold at the Tokyo Disney Parks, that comes out to about 3700 The value of all the items of this happy tote bag comes to a total of 17,420 yen. And considering the fact that this mystery bag retailed for 9,000 yen, that's almost double the value. Considering everything is from Tokyo Disney, is pretty awesome. Would I purchase something like this again? Probably not because I would love to have a lot more variety. And the fact that every single bag has the exact same items, but they did disclaimer that in the description, so you kind of knew what you were getting into. More than half of the stuff here are merchandise based off of the new Fantasyland, but you know what? It could have been worse. Great to be able to experience something like this, especially since it's the first time Tokyo Disney has done something like this, as far as I know. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Which ones were your favorites? Which ones you, would you skip or pass by if you were to come across it on the aisles. Uh, would you do this? Would you give this a shot? Would you buy a mystery tote bag? Do you think it was worth it? Let me know anything and everything in the comments. And if you'd like to support me, please do give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for your time and for stopping by. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.